Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I am here today to do an empties video for the month of May, and boy, do I have a lot of stuff. The last couple of months, I really haven't had too many things to feature in my empties videos. I think for April, I had four things, but I am just looking at this mass of stuff in front of me, and I can't believe how much stuff I have. So I'm glad to be doing this video so I can take this stuff and throw it in the trash. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and get started, and I'll try not to take too much time on this. Um, I finished up a shampoo and a conditioner, shampoo and a conditioner. These are massive bottles um, of Pantene Pro-V Sheer Volume, and um, yeah, I like this stuff, and I got these, I got several at Target a while back. Um, there was uh, like, I don't know, they had a sale, and I had coupons, and so I got a whole ton of them for um, not a lot of money, and so these are really nice shampoos, and uh, the shampoo and conditioner is really nice and I like what they do for my hair. They have all different kinds, whether your hair is frizzy or whether you need more volume or whatever you need, they have all different kinds. So another thing I finished is this big bottle of um, Root Pump by Big Sexy Hair. This is great to just kind of give you a little bit of lift. Um, I put it on my hair every day, but it is especially helpful if I'm just about due for getting my hair, did I just mess up my hair? If I'm just about due for getting my hair colored because it kind of, um, my hair tends to go flat on top. And so, finished up a big bottle of this. Also finished up a bottle of my go-to hairspray that I always use, and this is Gar Garnier Fructi Style uh, Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. It's number four. Um, that is uh, four out of five, five being the strongest hold. But what I like about this is that it does not make my hair stiff, and so it's still kind of natural. Okay. But the, uh, the next thing that I finished is a container of Sugar Scrub. This is Ulta brand. It is in a scent called Passion Berry Vanilla. Wasn't terribly crazy about the fragrance. You can still smell it. It's really perfumey, and so um, I used it all, and uh, and my husband helped me use it too. Um, but a little bit more perfumey for my um, liking. I don't know what passion berry is. I thought maybe it would smell like berries and vanilla, but it didn't. It had a lot of perfume. Um, and this sugar scrub, I, I would say that I don't like it as much as the Tree Hut sugar uh, shea sugar scrub that I've gotten. Um, it's got a lot more liquid in there, and so I used it up really fast. The, the tree hut kind is a lot more thick and dense, and so it just lasts longer. Well, that container is also larger, but this one I went through um, quite quickly. I do have a couple more of these from Ulta in different fragrances. I will use them, but I think I like my tree hut stuff better. Another um, thing that I bought from Ulta that is Ulta brand is this uh, Beauty Smoothie in Go Go Guava, and it is a swirl body cream. So when you get it, you can see that there is a swirl of cream and gel. It's kind of interesting. I sort of thought that when I would pump this, that a little bit of the cream and a little of the gel would come out, and um, I have another one of these that I'm currently using, and my experience is that no matter which way I turn the pump on here, that I get all the gel at first, and then it goes to all the cream second. So I guess the swirl is just for looks, I guess, um, because you don't get them out at the same time. But the good news is that the gel actually is moisturizing, um, and it has a very nice fragrance. So, and I got this, I think buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. Something that was a good deal. Uh, let's see, another thing I went through is my CeraVe, Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is the AM1, so it has an SPF 30. Actually, this was interesting. I took the last pump that I could get out of this, and um, and rather than just tossing it in my empties um, bin uh, for this video, I got my beauty spatula out, and if you don't have one of those, you really need to get one. It's just this little, this like long stick, and it has a tiny little spatula on the end, and you can stick it into things to get the product out that is not coming out. So you could use it in a bottle, like if you have foundation that has a, a screw top kind of a thing, you could reach it in there. With this, I just unscrewed this part and was dipping the spatula into this, and I was able to use this for another two and a half weeks. I think 
I read somewhere that we throw out like 20% of the product in a bottle because we can't get it all out. Um, so man, the little beauty spatula, the one I have, I think I paid five or six dollars for it. Got it on Amazon. You need to get one because um, there's no sense wasting good product and money by um, you know just throwing it away when there's still stuff in there on the bottom or underneath the the neck of the bottle and all of that. Okay, so finish that. Another thing that I used up, and this was part of a video I did called uh, Focus on Five. I was focusing on not necessarily finishing up, but just using five products that I'd sort of put to the side. And this was one of them. This was called Stay Don't Stray. It's an eye primer, eyelid primer. Do you see my dog up there? She's, she's wearing the cone of shame. She had a procedure done on her leg and, um, and so she has to wear, wear this thing. Vanessa, stop. I know it itches. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Stop. I know. I know. There. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it itches. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is an eyelid primer um, by Benefit. It is in a shade um, that is light slash medium. Um, I had stopped using this because I had gotten another eyelid primer in a BoxyCharm box that I really liked better and started using that, but figured I didn't want this to go to waste. I think I paid $20 for it. And so I continued to use it and I did use it up. It is a nice eyelid primer. If you um, haven't really been into using them, this is um, one I would say I would recommend. Um, anyway, so, um, so I finished that. Okay, another thing for the eyes that I finished up is this, um, it's called Eye Duty Triple Remedy. Um, it is by a company called First Aid Beauty and it is, um, it says instantly brightens, uh, depuffs, and smooths. Um, you dab this on um, upper, and lower eyelid area. It's got this metal applicator thing right here that is, um, when you put it on, it feels quite chilly and um, it kind of feels good when you put it on. As you, in fact, it feels really good putting it on here now. So I think they, were say, they say that it's supposed to depuff because of course if you put anything that's cold um, around puffs, it should make them reduce a bit. Um, it has kind of a salmon color to it, so it does kind of uh, decrease the appearance of dark circles. But I'm not plan planning to buy this again. Um, I When I got, as I was using it, I was thinking, is this really doing what it says it's gonna do? Brighten, well probably because of the color. Um, smooth and depuff, didn't really notice that so much. Um, and it was $36. Um, you know, it lasted several months. So the price probably wasn't so bad when you consider that I was probably using this for, I don't know, five or six months maybe? Maybe, maybe not that long, I don't know. Um, but I was looking up some reviews on it as I was trying to decide if I really should keep using this or not. And, um, and I read a couple reviews that where people were kind of unimpressed with it. And the other thing too that I was thinking about is, you know, why is it that I, with, um, with eye creams, they don't put SPF in them. Why? I mean, your eyes really need that. So um, that was one of the comments from somebody about it is that, you know, if, if it at least had a, an SPF, that that would be good. So that actually kind of inspired me so that now when I put on my, my moisturizer that has um, an SPF in it, I kind of dab it around the eye area as well, which I wasn't doing before. I was stupid <laughs> but yeah so this worked okay I wasn't terribly impressed with it and for 36 bucks I think I will pass on getting another one all right this is just a package from cotton rounds that I use to remove my eye makeup got this from Target have more of it already this is also from Target this is makeup remover cleansing towelettes okay another thing that I finished is my very favorite Foundation. This is Lorac Natural Performance Foundation, and mine is in uh, the shade number four. I've been in love with this foundation for over a year now. Um, does a really nice job of just um, 
covering smoothly, not too heavy, but a, but a pretty decent coverage and um, just kind of smooths everything out. So I love this. I already had a backup, so yeah. Um, this is a mascara that was from Julep that I forgot I had. I'd had it for a long time. I was digging through my makeup case, found this, thought, oh gosh, I should probably use it, opened up, it was dried up. So that's going in the trash. And then, hey, okay, here's an exciting one. This is a toothbrush head from um, Oral-B. It goes with my Braun Oral-B electric toothbrush. Um, this particular one is just a regular brush head. I got a new, um, I got a new toothbrush because my battery wasn't holding a charge very well and it wasn't, just wasn't um, as strong as it used to be. Um, and it, this is the one it came with and it just had a regular brush head on it. But the kinds I have ordered for refills for my toothbrush um, actually are called Floss Action, I think. They're also from Oral-B and they have these little rubber like paddles. So it kind of acts like, it's not doesn't get between your teeth, but it kind of acts like floss does at the gum line and um, gives your gums a workout. So um, use that up. And then I have um, a couple more things that are bath products. So I took two baths in the month of May. And of course I have a big co collection, not collection, just big stockpile of, um, of bath fizzies from the Bath Fusion Company. And that's at bathfusion.com bathfusioncompany.com if you're interested. The two I used were Sex on the Beach, and which actually had a really amazing um, scent. And the other one was White Tea and Ginger, both really nice. And when I take a bath, I like to put on one of those um, kind of cloth masks with all the goodness in it and kind of lay there and, and have that on my face. So I went through two of these. Um, they're both by Pure Tree. And one of them was a raspberry mask and one of them was called um, a collagen mask. So I went through um, both of those. Um, oh, wait, let me go get a couple other things. I have a couple other things. Okay, I almost forgot. I have some hand soaps that I went through. This one, they're all from Bath and Body Works. This one is in the kitchen. Um, it is called Kitchen Lemon. Um, I love this because if you get, if you're cooking and you get like the smell of garlic on your fingers, which is really hard to get off, this removes that smell. Um, so I already had, I have several backups of these that I, I pick things up from Bath and Body Works during their semi-annual sales. And that's usually the only time I shop there, but I get a bunch of stuff. Um, so anyway, I used this one. I also went through a couple of hand soaps in the bathroom. This is foaming hand soap. The first one is iced blackberries. Uh, I finished one of these a couple of months ago and told you about this. Um, yeah, this has a really nice scent um, and I, I really, really like that one. And then the other one that I finished, actually, I think I might have finished this one up like on the first day of May because I usually don't go through, we don't go through two in a month. So I think I might have finished this one up after, you know, after I did my April's empties. Um, and so, um, but this one we did use in May and this is um, another foaming hand soap called White Pear and Fig. I loved this one. I love it when you put soap on your hands to wash your hands and, and while you're rubbing your hands together, you can smell it. And, um, and this one you really could, it was very, very nice. So, okay, those are all of the things that, um, that I, I finished. Wow, a whole lot of stuff. I'm probably not gonna do a blog post on this. You know, they're empties. But I will be doing a favorites video that will come out next week, and that one I will have a blog post with so you can see the stuff up close and personal. So anyway, thanks for hanging in there with me while I went through all the stuff that I used up. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, just hit that button right there. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is several days a week. So um, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, bye-bye.